we're back. And I'm turning the volume up on the TV. So if there's any sound, I'll hear it. Okay, we woke up. It's the middle of the night, still. And I don't know why. I can do this. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Everything seems okay. Oh, it's centered on used door. Alright, here we go. Maybe I should go check on Miku. Maybe if he's not doing well. Nope, nope. Gotta be strong. Gotta be strong. Hello? Hello? Oh, closet. I don't want to look at the closet. Aww. God, what is that noise? Okay, here we go, here we go. I heard something. <laughs> it seemed to be coming from inside the roof. Of course it was. Why wouldn't it be? Let's go check it out. Ooh. Holy. You need to watch more horror films. <laughs> That was a dream. Oh, a dream? Oh. Ah, okay, that was only mildly frightening. Yeah. At least it's daytime again. Hey, Miku? Good morning, Ray. Oh, almost ran at the banister. Ray, this is it. Ray, about that photo of the doll on the skewer, I wasn't able to find anything on it. I thought it may be similar to Legends of the Straw Dolls passed on in ta Tono? Tono? Mm. Anyways, it has something to do with folklore, so you might find something in one of Yu's books. I.e. going to Yu's room again. Thanks, I'll go take a look in the creepy room. If you need anything else, just let me know. It seems like you're having a lot of nightmares lately. Are you okay? Yeah. I just talked with you earlier, Miku. I'm not gonna have the talk again. It's not my fault you can't obtain information. Or maybe it's because I told you and we didn't. <laughs> that might have something to do with it. Room is less fleeky at night. Anything here? No. Anything on his desk? Nope. 
on his bookshelf. Yep, in the bookcase there was a photograph. Oh, photography. There was a photograph with scenery closely resembling the scenery in the other photograph. In many regions, particularly in the mountain areas, there remains a folk practice of dressing up dolls they make from straw, earth, or cloth, and worshipping them as idols. I finished that like it was a sentence, and it wasn't the end of a sentence. The doll in the picture was reported by an Awate resident. It is called Kushimi, and when someone dies in the village, they weave the hair of the deceased into the straw and have it wear his or her kimono. The doll is fixed on the skewers and put before a shrine at the edge of the mountain. The doll is enshrined for up to one month after the death, and after that period passes, it is cast into the river behind the shrine together with various offerings. In this region's tradition, there was said to be a cave in the mountain connecting to the land of the gods. The dead who became Kushimi stand between the village and the mountain. They take upon the village's evil and head to the land of the god. In a neighboring village, there was said to be a similar doll called Igushi, but this one is the spirit of a person who died young and is deified in the mountains. In one interpretation, both village and mountain have a protective deity, standing in the border between people and gods. In another sense, burdening the dead with evil or deifying the spirit of the young in a mountain connotes human sacrifice. Yay, human sacrifice. Skewer dolls! The skewer dolls! Inside the mania, mania, wow. I am losing my ability to talk. Inside the manor, in a courtyard surrounded by a corridor, was a tree wrapped with sacred rope. Around it stood straw dolls skewered on stakes. A co- uh, blah blah, old folk. Stuff we already read. What is there in that courtyard beyond that door? That requires protecting. Have I read everything? Yes. Okay. Let's poke our head in the closet. Because apparently I'm crazy. Oh, I can go in! Get out, Ray! Oh, that was a bad idea. God, why am I doing this? Oh, Ray, you, there's something on the floor? Oh. Is this the radio I dreamed about last night? Spirit Stone Radio. There's a book here that seems to go with the radio. Radio transmissions. As mentioned previously, occultist Kunihiko Asu has actively appropriated Western craft with the goal of ex explicating ancient Japanese belief in and legends of the other world. Other world. Eh. It is said he finally was able to establish communication with the other world. The first example of this is the other world crystal radio signal receiver, otherwise known as the Spirit Stone Radio. The Spirit Stone Radio Spirit Stone was a name his colleagues used later. In Dr. Asu's research materials, it is usually simply referred to as the crystal. Ah, fatal frame too. The principle of the crystal radio is that it utilizes a special wave detection. Actually, was it in fatal frame one too? I don't remember. Property of crystal to pick up the appropriate band of wavelength. Wavelength. I should really wait till the end of a sentence before I start my own commentary. Asu focused on that fact that stones have been known from ancient times to carry occult properties. They have. If he could find a special crystal, he the thought hmm, he probably they probably meant then, he then thought, perhaps it could capture signals from the other world. As a quick side note, uh, when I've been editing and rechecking the videos, I've actually noticed typos in some of the text I didn't notice before because my brain just auto fixed it for me as I read and I didn't realize. Which is something our brains do more you know. It is said his experiment was a success, and the records note that he was able to capture sound at a range outside that of normal broadcasting. The documentation of the sounds have been lost, but Asu's... Asso's? I'm going to constantly mispronounce his name. I'll be switching all the time. Associates left behind several testimonials saying they heard words of the past and words of ghosts. The radio! Will we be rereading the same stuff? Let's find out. An old radio that was in the loft above Yu's room. According to an old book, uh, blah blah blah. Asu, could there be some connections with Yu's family? 
Oh, maybe. Even the same last name. Okay, apparently it's something I'll be arguing with. Ah. Oh. More stuff on him. Bloody da da da. Well, which we just learned. Which we also just learned. Which we already know. Okay, cool. Let's get out of here. How do I get out of here? Seriously. I'm really freaked out right now. I don't know how to... Am I trapped? Help! What the fuck? Okay, if I go around hitting X enough, eventually I'm bound to get out, right? Oh, there we go. That dream I had yesterday. Freaky. Oh god, it's that time again. Do I have new tapes? I just want to buy myself time here. Nope. So much for buying myself time. Alright, we all know the drill. I'm going to save. And then I'll start wandering. There isn't ghosts and it's just a waste of time. I'm probably going to cut it out. If there are ghosts, well, you're going to get to watch me run around going, ah! So. Fun times there. Alright, well, I'll see you next time. Otherwise, here we go. I'm gonna bring the volume up. In case a cat starts meowing and I miss it. I think I might hear something. Well, let's check on Miku. Maybe I can convince her to come with me. Miku! Ooh, and I've stopped Ray, to develop. For some reason, I can't sleep either. <laughs> yeah, I wonder why. It's raining again. It's, it's raining, raining again. again. It's raining again. Alright, I gotta go develop photos and possibly scream a lot. So, I guess you guys are watching this no matter what. Because I'm developing photos. Uh, what's that noise? It's not the cat. Wanna come with me, kitty? Okay, maybe we always hear that noise at night, and I've never noticed before, because I never have the sound this high. Okay, running, 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 running. Open, 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 open. Yeah. Not very adventurous, I think, but... Wow, it gets quiet in here. I don't? I think I take... F oh, no, I guess he didn't. For some strange reason, I thought I had photos. Weird. I'm gonna go poke my head in the living room. Cause listen to that. Like, it sounds like there's something. Doesn't it sound like there should be something? Oh, I'm so crazy. I hate exploring, I hate exploring. Oh god. Hmm. I guess it's just creepy noise night. <sighs> Alright. Uh, thanks for watching. Um. <gasps> Did you guys see that? Like something moved over here. It seems like you're having a lot of nightmares lately. Miku! Are you alright? You scared me. Lately, all I can think about is the past. Like back when I was a child. You like appeared from nowhere. I swear I watched her shadow pop up. Like she 
teleported over here. I hate you, Miku. Okay, I'm gonna go save. What is making that noise? I feel like I'm missing something. I haven't gone in the use room. I don't want to go in the use room. Miku. it shuts up here. What is making the noise? Do I gotta poke the radio? Let's poke the radio. It's in my menu now. Ah! Tools? I don't know. The house is just creepy now. Has its own creepy music. Alright. Thanks for watching. Watching. Ha! <laughs> Thanks for watching. Ooh, I didn't check that closet. And all that jazz. Um, I'll see you guys for part 8. Till then. Wow, weird noises. I'm gonna save.